Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. So I haven't uploaded recently. I've had a horrible week and haven't been able to get on the water much. And when I did get on the water, I didn't catch any fish. So not sure if the bite's gone off. I haven't really been on the water a lot and yeah, keep striking out. But today I'm gonna go through the rods and reels. Had a lot of comments um, from you guys, a lot of messages going, can you go through your rods and reels? Not sure why, they're not the best. Uh, they're just whatever I've found over the last couple of years. So I'll go through them with you. So yeah, we'll jump straight into it. Right guys. We're going to start with the bait caster, the one that I uh, that I use first. First up, we got a Shimano Raider, three to six kilo, six three one, so it's six foot three. It's got an agility. It's my rat rod. I don't know if you've seen my other video, but it's my rat rod bait caster. It's got all the ceramic bearings in it. This is actually pretty light because it's a cheap reel made out of plastic. It's got no. It's actually lighter than my expensive one. I actually still enjoy using this one just as much as I like using my expensive my expensive setup, but. This is the $50 reel with, uh, I think this rod costs about $129. No, 100, no, 119. Yeah, this Angler's Warehouse, $119. Things like the perfect weight for the estuaries and that sort of thing. I know a lot of people use them. Well, I've met a couple of people that use them as well. I did have the 10 pound fluorocarbon on here ever since that those two break-offs on the giant herring and the jack. I've now got it rigged up with 20 pound J braid and 20 pound um, Kato leader. I love J braid. Uh, it's very smooth. It's the smoothest braid I've used. Next up we've got my Daiwa. This is my new one. Spent a lot of money on this one. This is yeah the Daiwa Zillion XXH. Love this reel. Love the massive retrieve rate. Right? It's got a 9.1 retrieve so every time you turn the handle once that little wheel there turns 9.1 times so that's what that means. If you didn't know it's mag seal, so it's still smooth as the day I bought it. I uh, haven't really gave it a clean yet or done anything of that, that nature. Got that paired up with the 20 pound J braid, 20 pound Gato leader, just like the other one. This rod I bought, I saw one rod, one reel using it, uh, and I thought, you know what? I want to catch bass too, even though I live in Australia. So this is a big sexy, medium heavy 6.6. Six. This is absolutely beautiful design rod. Absolutely love it. But I swear this thing would be unbreakable. Like you could use this bluefin tuna fishing. You probably wouldn't snap it. Uh, it is a very heavy rod. I'm hoping to catch a meter jack this summer because I want to put this rod through its paces and I reckon that's the only way we're going to do that. So meter long jack, you guys are going to see it on my channel. I got to work on getting my first one, but yeah, beautiful rod. Uh, I've only caught one fish on it so far, a little brim, so I don't even think the rod flexed. It's probably a bit stiffer than I would have liked and I probably will get another rod for this reel while I'm not chasing absolute giants. Medium, heavy, fast actions. Very stiff rod. So this is my Shimano Kazna 2500 FA. Mum bought this reel for my sister about 10 years ago with an ugly stick from a garage sale for 10 bucks. When I started fishing, I went and retrieved it from a garage and re-oiled it, re-greased it, made sure everything was working good. I did have it on a quick fire, a Shimano quick fire, very cheap rod but the eyelet started to break, so that was also about seven years old, I reckon. No, even older than that, probably probably eight years old. So now, got it on a Cuda Blackhawk, two to four kilo fast action, 610. Uh, love this rod. I uh, was looking for something that I could catch small jacks on and, and trevally and that sort of stuff. Still have the power to put a little bit of hurt on them. I got the 55 centimeter trevally on the popper on this thing. It's very light, but it still has a bit of power because of the fast action. I actually really like using this rod and this reel. So as long as you keep them greased up and oil, these things are fantastic. So it's not as smooth as your, as your Shimano Stellas and stuff that you can get. Cause I used, I had a go on one of them the other day and that was amazing. But hey, it gets the job done. I've caught more fish on this reel than any other reel I've owned. This thing did break like immediately. So I have to super glue that back on. That's the only downfall with this rod. Oh, and also the twist is here. You find that after like 15 casts, you have to re-tighten that. I would have preferred it if you, if you, if your tightener was up the top, like on the next rod. Right, next one we have the Shimano Sienna. Another cheap reel. It came with a rod as well, like a very cheap combo. And my friend was using it and stove it into the top of a bridge and snapped the tip off. So I had to go and buy another rod for it. Went down to Angler's Warehouse and they've got these on special. It's like 99 bucks. Best rod for under a hundred bucks. It's a uh, Samakai Zing, two to six pound. I'm gonna be using this small baits for brim, wide and bass 
So can't wait to use that. I haven't actually caught a fish on it yet. Yeah, it's a two piece rod. I normally go for one pieces, but it was cheap, so I bought it. Beautiful rod, can't wait to catch a fish on it. You'll definitely see more of this in more videos. My last rod that you've only seen once, this is my sweet fire that I nicked out of my mum's garage after her ex-boyfriend left it there, went back to New Zealand. He had it paired up with a Daiwa but someone dropped a canoe on it and snapped the handle off. I'm not gonna mention any names, Lisey down at Brunswick. I uh, was borrowing one of their, their reels and got snapped off on a Jewfish. So the next day ran to the shops and bought this one, it's Pacifica Ocean Stream 4000. It is beautiful, to be honest. I've used this off the rocks and I love it. Caught a 1.1 meter Dewey on this. Yeah, it's a sweet fire. This is my off the rocks thing. I will be doing some off the rocks fishing in future videos. So if anyone else is into rock fishing, hit us up in the comments because can't wait to do some more. Yeah, so I got the 20 pound line and leader on that again. I'll probably have to increase that because when I caught the dew fish, it was 40 pound. And when I got it in the net, the leader had been completely rubbed through. And as soon as I got the fish in the net, snapped off. Yeah, so that's my off the rocks reel combo as you can tell i don't have i don't have a lot of gear at all a lot of my stuff is either found or given to me that's what i've been using uh it gets the job done there's lots of other stuff that would probably help me out and i want to get but for now i'm probably going to get a new camera soon so you guys get different angles on the on the raft so i'm going to start upgrading my camera gear and then after i've got my camera gear i'll probably have to start upgrading my fishing gear yeah i don't have a whole lot so that was my rod arsenal hopefully i covered everything if you guys have any more questions on that let us know uh, they're not really reviews it's just going through what I have so next up we have my tackle box you guys wanted to see in here too got my GoPro batteries found this popper in Hins Dam if you're missing one I found it it was in a tree uh, it took me about 10 minutes to get it down but I got it never used it this is my bass lure the soft I don't have a lot of bass lures I don't have a lot of lures at all so we got soft shell cicada my spinner bait I'm going to be doing some more fishing up at Hins Dam another series coming up with that because I feel like we're close to finishing the actually no we're nowhere near finished the jack series that's my pop-up I'm going to get a massive GT on that this is my jack popper still haven't caught a jack on it but it's the G series splash got my little poppers and my walk the dogs at the moment, the walk the dogs haven't been working as well for me as the poppers have been. So I've been using the poppers more than the walk the dogs. Yeah, so little walk the dogs and little poppers there. That's my giant herring lure. They seem to love it. I replaced the single hooks, so can't wait to catch a meter long giant herring on that. What else we got? Cheap poppers off eBay. Couple of little poppers there. My JB45s, fantastic lure. Love using them, haven't used them in a while because I don't want to chase the small stuff. Uh, these are Mal Maulers. Mal texted me and he gave me a whole heap. I can't wait to catch fish on them. They got a fantastic action through the water. It's got some deep divers and some shallow divers. I've had, yeah, I've used them once and I had one hit on the first cast, absolutely destroyed the lure. Look at that, I'll show you the footage of that. Mal's Mauler. See if we can't get something. Oh, oh, first cast, first cast. Holy moly. Oh, what was that? Oh, I think that was a jack, guys. Look at that. He shredded that. Yeah, so he's got some shallow. Can't wait to chase some bass on these lures. I reckon these go nuts on the bass. So I'm going to take these up bass fishing soon. Yeah, Mal's Maulers. Check them out. Leave an email address in the description below and his Facebook page, Mal's Maulers. Check them out if you want some. And if you mention you got them off my channel, he'll give you a 10% discount. So he gave me a whole heap of them. Can't wait to catch some fish on them. Can't wait to throw them into some snags and pull out some big fish. In here we got, I love my Rapala lures. I think they look so realistic. Just got a whole heap. Ordered them a while ago, they finally came. The orange, I'm hoping that the jacks will go nuts for those orange ones. Giant her uh, the herring color, that looks really realistic. So these are the Rapala Shadow Wrap Shads and then the Rapala Shadow Wrap. This is the one I got the 1.1 meter Dewey on. Don't know if you can see that, but it's cracked. And um, the original hook it had on the back had a bent out one. 
and they would be an upgraded. Love my Z-Mans, used to have a heap of them. I've now officially run out. Uh, these are all pretty much dead. Love Z-Mans, love the red shard, the pearl white, the gold rush for the flathead and the shiner. So yeah, I'll use the red shard in dirty water, the whites around the canals and the shiners in just really clear water. But I'll have to pick up some more of them. This is my favorite off the rocks lure. I've hooked up and lost so many of these on big fish. Parlor clacking minnow. Uh, makes the loudest noise you'll ever hear in your life. Just a slow retrieve, annoys the fish enough for them to come and tuck it. What else have we got? Yeah, just some more gold rush, some lures. These are the Shadalicious, worst durability bait on the market. Don't get them. Z-Mans, love my Z-Mans. So I got these, I use these at night times. Throws out a great silhouette, gives a little bit of a sparkle. I haven't caught many fish on the purple, the mood rings, curly tails. Catch a lot of fish on these, the three inch paddle tails, love them. They're the Shadalicious packet, got them off eBay. Caught a lot of fish on these ones, what are they? Eco gear bolts? I don't know, they're not the most durable bait either. So that's why I like the Z-Mans, is because you can catch a fish on it, throw it back out again, bring in another fish, throw it out again. And you can do that all summer, whereas these tend to go within the first day of using them. These are all my hooks. I'm, st I'm still playing around with hooks on these lures to try and get them to suspend in the water. So I got the VMCs. These are the upgraded hooks because they come with bass hooks. And I'll tell you what, you can snap those bass hooks off with brim. I don't know how you Americans do it, to be honest, because we get snapped off so many times, it's not funny. So yeah, I've been upgrading all my hooks, but still trying to work out, because if you look at a bait fish when it's swimming, it'll just sit in the one place. Uh, so I'm trying to make them really uh, suspending lure, so when you crank it, and then it just stops still and sits in front of the fish's face, because if you ever see, yeah, like a mullet just sitting in the water, it doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, it just sits there. So that's what I'm trying to do with uh, these Rapalas and that, trying to find the, I'll let you know when I do find it, when I can get them suspending. But at the moment, still playing around with them. So yeah, I got the in three times strong and six times strong, but still haven't found a good combination in size four and six for my smaller lures. These are all my jig heads. I go for the TT lures. Yeah, great hooks, strongest hooks you can get, but I find every now and then these things like come undone, they start slipping and sliding. So that's a big pain in the butt when that happens. Yeah, so these are, found this one. Apparently that's a $46 lure found it in Emerald Lakes. If you're missing one from Emerald Lakes, I've got it. Thanks for the lure boys. I haven't caught a fish on that. I'm gonna try and get a big trevally on that. And this is my off the rocks. Haven't actually caught a fish on that, but that's a Rapala long cast. Just love the look of it, so I've spent way too much money on it. Remember, Mal's Maulers, uh, I'll leave the email below. You can order them from him, they come in. A, six meter diver and a two meter diver um, and i think he's working on a three meter diver at the moment yeah if you want to get some of these bad boys hit them up in the description below i'm going to be using them over the next couple of weeks and hopefully get some fish on them we'll definitely be using this one apparently the ones with missing paint are the luckiest so i reckon it was a jack but then again i reckon everything's a jack Thanks for watching another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of gear, but I'm just making do with what I've got at the moment. I only just started fishing. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the water for the next one.